Hi everyone. Today I thought I'd just get started right off the bat since I actually have something to talk about today. Zach Smith has given me a list of suggestions and I have chosen all of them. So let's do it. Number one, reasons college kids like cotton candy and late night fast food. First off, come on. Everybody likes cotton candy. I mean, it was invented by a dentist who became the president of the Tennessee State Dental Association. Why does that not surprise me? Nothing against Tennessee people. It's just when you Google Tennessee teeth, you get this. Late night fast food is a little bit trickier. Not all college students like late night fast food. A lot of college students like late night other things that I don't really feel comfortable talking about. I think the late night fast food is mostly an attraction to college students who are on a meal plan because we get food that seems free for all intents and purposes, but we only get it three times a day. And since college kids are out doing stuff all day, we don't get to see our roommates or our hallmates until nighttime usually. And since most days we eat and go to class and eat and then go to class again and then eat and then finally get back to our room at the end of the day, we feel compelled to eat again before we do any of the dorm roomy kind of things that we want to do at night. And since we're college kids and have no money, unless one of us has parents who buys us boxes and boxes of food, there's no food around. So we just combine eating and hanging out with roommates and hallmates by all taking a trip to Taco Bell at 2 in the morning. Next question. Putt-putt. It's not really a question. That doesn't help. Reasons not to buy expensive shoes. Because you could buy so many other expensive things that are so much cooler. Like this. And this. And this. 10 fun things that you can do outdoors with just your imagination and things you find around the house. Turn your bedsheet into a fort. Turn your bedsheet into a hammock. Turn your hammock into a boat. Dig a hole. To the center of the earth. Write your own book of magic spells using words you make up. Find a really big cardboard box. Now if that's not self-explanatory, there's no hope for you. Sit on the side of the road and watch the people and cars go by and come up with stories of who they are, where they just came from, and where they're going. Go make a million dollars selling hammock boats. Find a jar of mayo, empty it, fill it with vanilla pudding, and then go out in public and eat it with a spoon. Lastly, get a white t-shirt and write life in really big letters on the front and then wear it and go hand out lemons on a street corner. Those last two weren't my idea, but I really want to try them sometime. Last topic. Three things all Southerners should bring with them when crossing the Mason-Dixon line. Item number one, clothes. Item number two, deodorant. Item number three, a woman who knows how to make sweet tea. Don't worry about bringing the sweet tea with you. You can just buy a sugar and Lipton when you get there. And that's all I've got for you today. This is Sam. Thanks for watching.